Hey, so I just had an epiphany with regards to food. I know that one of my things uh, on planet Earth in this period of time, who knows what it will be after, is bodies and sharing my experiences with regards to what my body tells me. Um, because our body knows. Your body is highly intelligent and it's your vessel here on planet Earth. It is the most intelligent piece of technology that you possess. Well, I don't know if possession is the right word, but that's not what this video is about. So the epiphany that I had was with regards to eating. I'm going to say a version of me because I do not believe in linear time and it serves me to keep reminding myself of that. So a version of me denotes and says in between the lines that I know that I'm continuously a different person. And I choose to be a different person based on my thoughts, my feelings and my beliefs. Still, there are things that I learn linearly and we're here to play a game. I'm here to play a game. You're here to play a game. And the game is called life. And there are certain rules and frames to this game. So, um, <laughs> the epiphany I had with regards to food. So, a version of me was, or a couple of versions of me actually, highly addicted to foods, afraid to not be able to eat at a certain time anymore because I had made up all these rules. You cannot have this, you cannot have that, you have to stop eating at this time. You have, to. And while I, was, I still have some rules in place, like I don't eat after a certain period of time in the night, because actually I can keep eating all day, every day, and that's just how it is, or that's how it is for a version of me at this moment in time. But, and, uh, the fear and the feeling of continuously wanting to eat, it felt, um, so it was not, it was not habitual, it was, well, also, but also obsessive, not healthy, not comfortable. And then, I started to dig a little deeper, which I, I always do, like I love to understand things and I love to understand myself and I love to share with you what I learned from these understandings. My way doesn't have to work for you, but it can. And this is actually more of an um, invitation for you to also search deeper within yourself because you have all the answers. So in any case, I figured out that, first of all, the obsessive eating was because I was, a version of me was giving rules that are not, they have nothing to do with who I am in essence. And who I am in essence is an infinite being that is worthy of everything and that has no like there are no limits to what I can do and also to how I can look. And trying to push myself into some kind of a eating mold, but also looking like how I, like I have to look like this and I have to look like that, otherwise I'm that. That actually creates, in my case, obsessive behavior. And I haven't been so obsessed with foods anymore. Like I do eat sugar and cake and stuff that are deemed better not do it. But I don't want to go without them because for me, I'm here to enjoy my life on planet Earth. And for me, fries and cakes and cookies are a part of that, not cardboard and Okay, <laughs> this is a bit of an extreme example. But so for me, that's part of 
uh, what makes life enjoyable. I don't enjoy it when I eat it every day. Like I naturally don't go there. My body doesn't want it every day. It wants, it wants it once in a while. But at the times that I was restraining myself, I was feeling like it daily. So what changed? I have given myself permission to be everything I am already now. I'm giving myself permission to feel beautiful and to feel perfect as I am now. And I'm not looking according to certain beauty standards. And I don't give a shit because I love who I am and I love how I look and I'm perfect. And at days I might, I might look different, I might look more tired, I, like, I might look more energized, I might, whatever. I decided I look perfect every single day. I just look perfect, period. I don't have to check in the mirror because I just know that I do. So I hope that you get what I'm saying because everyone has an opinion. And it doesn't matter what everyone's opinion is. Some people think I'm beautiful. Some people think I'm ugly. Some people like me. Some people don't like me. Some people think I'm fat. Some people think I have a beautiful body. Some people think I'm whatever. But it doesn't matter. It matters what I think. And it matters what I feel. And ever since this version of me has been allowed like i'm allowing this version of me because it's a choice every state is a choice and since i've been doing this and it's been a journey linearly speaking um i just don't crave the wrong things at the wrong times because as i said I can, I allow myself to eat what I want whenever I want. I do have a certain stop at a certain time. Um, and everything in between is allowed. And I naturally don't crave the things that I do crave or that a version of me does crave when I'm restricting and when I have these thoughts of, oh my God, I'm not good enough. Oh my God, my ass looks too fat. Oh my God, I have too much this. Oh my God, I'm too much that and too less this. Man, all these thoughts and all these ideas, these beauty standards and whatever standards have, made, have been made up by people. And I have an idea that I know what the, um, why they have been made up by these people but it doesn't matter because that's not my reality anymore anyway my life my rules my beauty standards my everything standards not only beauty so if you're still listening then i know that that this helps and what i wish for you and for everyone else that you come in touch with because just by being, you change people, not by saying anything necessarily. Your vibration is um, contagious. Everyone's vibration is. So I wish for you that you feel completely free in being whoever it is that you truly are. And for everyone else that you come in contact with. This is it for now. I wish you a beautiful rest of the day and I see you in the next. Peace.